Hi guys! Good day, it's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about solving quadratic inequalities. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now this is already part 2 of our video class. The part 1 of our video, we actually solve for number 1. So if you want to learn more about this number 1 class, I will just put the link on the description down below. You need to see the first video class before solving for this number 2. So feel free to see the video class. Alright, so these are the quadratic inequality symbols. We have greater than, less than. We have greater than or equal, less than or equal. For the included, we have greater than or equal, less than or equal. And then we use a closed circle and then brackets. For not included, we have greater than, less than. We use an open circle and then parenthesis. For infinity, it's always parenthesis. Once again, class, this is very important class in making solution sets. So if you want to learn more on how to make solution sets, I will just put the link on the description down below. You need to master class on how to make solution sets before solving quadratic inequalities. Alright, so let's start answering this one. Now first step class is you need to factor this quadratic inequality. You find two numbers that when you multiply the two numbers, you will get 14. When you combine, you will get positive 9. Of course, for positive 14, that would be positive 7 and then positive 2, right? Because if you multiply 7 times 2, you will get 14. Positive 14. If you combine positive 7 combined with positive 2, you will get positive 9. So therefore, class the factors of this quadratic inequality, that would be x plus 7 and then x plus 2. And then simply copy greater than 0. I'm sure, class, you have your factoring before solving quadratic inequalities. Now, next step plus is we need to equate this one into zero for us to get the critical points. So this will be x plus seven, quantity x plus seven, and then quantity x plus two equals zero. Question, sir, why do we need to equate this one into zero? For us to locate the critical points because we will be using the x values on the number line. So once again, equate this one into 0, x plus 7 equals 0. The other one, x plus 2 equals 0. And then to get the value of x, simply transpose 7 from left to right, and then 2 from left to right. Once you transfer from this equal sign, you change the sign. This is positive 7, it will be negative 7. This is positive 2, it will be negative 2. Alright, so once you have your critical points, your x values, you can now plot this one on the number line. So let's draw a number line. Alright, so of course we know that negative 7 is before negative 2. So negative 2 will be here and then negative 7. Because if you recall class number line, if this is 0, then this will be negative 1, negative 2, then negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, and so on. So therefore, class, negative 7 is before negative 2. So negative 2, the next will be negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, and so on. So negative 7 is before negative 2. Now, since we have greater than, therefore, we'll be using an open circle. If you only have greater than or less than, so you will be using an open circle. So use open circle and then use an open circle. And then we'll be checking this region plus, this region right here this region right here, and this region right here. So we'll be selecting plus any number after negative 7. So you can choose negative 8, negative 9, negative 10. So let's have negative 8 plus. So if it's true, all of the numbers after negative 7 will be all true. If it's false, all of the numbers after negative 7 will be all false. So let's check. So let's substitute this negative 8 from this quadratic inequality factors. So x plus 7, then x plus 2 is greater than 0. So our x is negative 8. Once again, because we will be checking this region. So you can choose any number after negative 7. You can have negative 8, negative 9, negative 10. So it depends on you class. Which do you prefer? So I will be selecting negative 8. So negative 8 plus 7, and then negative 8. Once again, because simply substitute the value of x, which is negative 8. So negative 8 plus 7 then negative 8 plus 2 is greater than 0. So negative 8 plus 7, so negative 8 plus 7, that is, what's the answer class? That's negative 1, that's correct. If the signs are not the same, subtract 8 minus 7 is 1, 
copy the sign of the larger number. Copy negative sign because 8 is greater than 7, you have negative 1. And then negative 8 plus 2, if the signs are not the same, subtract. Negative 8 plus 2, so 8 minus 2, that's 6. Now 8 is greater than 2, we have negative 6 is greater than 0. So negative 1 times negative 6. So negative times negative is positive. So 1 times 6 is 6. So that would be positive 6. Once again, test negative times negative is positive. 1 times 6 is 6 greater than 0. Is 6 greater than 0? Yep. 6 is greater than 0. So therefore, the statement right here, class, is true. So this is true. Alright, so let's check this region right here. Negative 7 up to negative 2. So you can choose any number, class. So let's have negative 5 in between negative 7 and negative 2. So you, you can choose negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, and negative 6. So let's have negative 5. So let's have negative 5. Alright, so this will be x plus 7, copy this factor, x plus 2 is greater than 0. So our x is negative 5, negative 5 plus 7, and then negative 5 plus 2 is greater than 0. Alright, so negative 5 plus 7, if the signs are not the same, you subtract. So 7 minus 5 is 2. Now 7 is greater than 5, we copy the sign. Positive, so positive 2. And then negative 5 plus 2, if the signs are not the same, subtract. 5 minus 2 is 3. Now 5 is greater than 2, we copy the sign. Negative 3 is greater than 0. So 2 times negative 3, what's the answer to us? That's correct, 2 times negative 3, that is negative 6. So negative 6, positive times negative is negative, 2 times 3 is 6. So negative 6 is greater than 0. Is negative 6 greater than 0? Nope, it's not. So our answer class is false. So this is false. Alright, and then last one class, this region. So once again, you can choose any number after negative 2. So you can have negative 1, you can have 0, then positive 1, positive 2, positive 3. So it depends on your class, which do you prefer. So let's select 0 class. Once again class, after negative 2, you can have negative 1, 0, then 1, 2, 3. So it depends on your class, which do you prefer. So you can have 0. So let's have 0 because it's easy class if it's 0. So 0 plus 7. And then our x is 0. Once again, can simply substitute the value of x, which is 0. So 0 plus 2 greater than 0. So 0 plus 7, that is 7. Alright, and then 0 plus 2, that is 2. It's greater than 0. So 7 times 2, what's the answer? 7 times 2, that is 14, is greater than 0. Is 14 greater than 0? Yup, 14 is greater than 0. So therefore, our answer is true. Alright, so this is all true. So therefore, after this region is true, so we will be erasing false. So we will not accept accepting this one because this is all false. So once again, class, we select the region which says true. Once again, class, we only accept those regions says true. So this region and this region. Alright, so therefore, all numbers after negative 7 will be all true. So this is true. Alright, and this region right here is false, so we will not selecting this region. So this region is also true. Alright, and then once you have that one class, you can now make your solution sets. Alright, and then we're all set. Easy, right, for this one? So make your solution sets. You can use the interval notation or set builder notation. So, interval notation, once again, you start at the left, going to the right. So, start to the left, this is an arrow, it means infinity. So, we have negative infinity. Once again, class, after negative 8, that's negative 9, negative 10, and so on. Now, since this is arrow, it means infinite. So, this is negative infinity. So, if it's infinity, you always use parentheses. So, parentheses, copy negative infinity. Sir, so why is it negative infinity? Because this is an arrow, it means infinite. So, negative infinity, comma, then up to negative 7. Now, since this is an open circle, you use parentheses. So, use parentheses, 
Now, since we have two solution sets, we use union. So, negative infinity, comma, the negative 7, parenthesis, union. Open circle, once again, parenthesis, the negative 2, comma. This is an arrow, it means positive infinity. Up to positive infinity, and then parenthesis. That's it, class. All set for the interval notation. Easy, right? For the interval notation. So if you master class on how to make solution sets, very easy class for interval notation. Now for set builder notation, you can write this one as the set of all x. So set of all x such that x, okay, x is less than, so less than negative 7 or x is greater than negative 2. Once again class, x is less than negative 7. So x is less than negative 7, it could be negative 8 negative 9, negative 10, and so on. Or x is greater than negative 2. So it could be negative 1, 0, 1, and, and then 2. So you can write this one class, interval notation, or this one class, set builder notation. Set of all x, this line right here, it means such that x is less than negative 7, or x is greater than negative 2. So greater than negative 2, it will be negative 1, 0, and then 1. Less than negative 7, it could be negative 8, negative 9, and then so on. All set class for example number 2. Alright, so I hope you learned something new today. If you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. Have a great day class. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.